Onboarding and offboarding are unique business processes that often involve multiple individuals within an organization. These processes can be unique by location, department, or position. The checklist functionality within Dynamics 365 for Talent provides a flexible and efficient way to manage these unique processes as well as track the progress across the organization for the onboarding and offboarding of workers. When a worker is hired, you can select one or more checklists to use in the onboarding process. The checklists are user-defined and contain a list of the tasks that need to be completed either before the employee arrives or after their start date. You can assign a checklist at the time of hire or you can assign a checklist after the employee has already been hired. When a checklist is selected, the tasks will be assigned to the appropriate individuals and a due date will also be calculated for each task. Likewise, when a worker is leaving, you can select the appropriate checklist and tasks will be created and assigned to the appropriate individuals. Now let's take a look at the setup. When setting up your tasks, you should consider who will be performing the work. Tasks can be assigned to a specific worker, a position, a group of individuals, the manager of the impacted employee, or the employee who is joining or leaving the company. This allows for individuals within the process to be assigned tasks and to have their progress tracked. Tasks can contain links to external websites, link to forms within HR Core Talent, or to the employee self-service forms for the employee to complete themselves. Instructions can be added as well. Lastly, the due date offset of a task is calculated as an offset based on the hire date or termination date. For example, assume that a comp and benefits manager must prepare a compensation package three days before the employee's start date. The task created will have a due date relative to start date of minus 3. Therefore, if an employee's start date is May 5th, the task will be due on May 2nd. To manage these processes, HR professionals can filter the task management workspace to view the onboarding and offboarding status of each individual. For example, within the onboarding process, HR professionals can view the individuals who will be joining the company soon and those that are recently hired. Within those sections, the task needing to be completed will be displayed. The task status can be updated and the tasks can be reassigned. The workspace also lists all onboarding tasks which can be filtered or sorted as needed. Overdue tasks are highlighted as well as tasks specifically assigned to the HR professional. The filter can be changed on the task management workspace to show offboarding tasks. You can see that the information on the workspace is similar to the onboarding task management workspace. The recently exited workers and exiting workers display as well as all tasks, overdue tasks, and tasks that are assigned to the HR professional. This concludes our brief look at the checklist functionality that is available for onboarding and offboarding. Thanks for watching.